Okay, so now we move on to the uh, next part. Okay, the uh, remaining part of this paper where it says make a copy of the home page file and rename it as courses. Okay, and then open the courses file to make the following changes. Okay, so let's go in order. Let's first make a copy of the home page. So let's come to our Dreamweaver file. Right now we are on index.html, which is the home page. And let's create a copy of it. Let's say save as and it's supposed to be now called courses okay the copy of it is supposed to be called as courses and i'm going to click on save okay so you can see i have the index.html and i also have the courses.html with me okay so the next thing it says is open the courses file to make these changes the page title should be changed to courses okay so instead of home this should become courses and if this is going to become courses then this will be the link to the other page which is home okay so let's make those two changes and then it goes on to say include a table using information from web page so in web page you have this entire table about courses and it tells very specifically include a table so this information should be copied in the form of a table okay so if you click on enable editing over here and if you try to convert this into a table it doesn't come very proper look if i was to come over here and say insert uh, table and if i was to say insert table it's appearing something like this okay which is not uh, a proper table you don't have columns you only have rows so i would recommend doing it manually just bring the cursor down and if you see how many columns this has this has one two three four five five columns and how many rows one two three four five six so there are six rows and five columns so let's do that five columns and let's go all the way down to six rows and i'm just going to do a quick copy paste for each of them i hope you'll also be able to keep up with me uh, it seems a bit difficult to copy that uh, so class room sessions number of pool sessions number of dives depth in meters okay and then uh, control v okay so you'll also have to do the same thing and it might take some time or oh, i missed that the numbers I think you'll have to type it yourself uh, let's go for it two two one 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 well, what am I doing what am I doing two zero 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 one two four four five four eighteen thirty dash forty dash okay I'll also make it look very similar to the this thing control B let's make it bold maybe center align it okay so now i'm going to just copy this table copy this table into the courses page so instead of this text i'm going to be putting the table over here control v okay so i have pasted my table as well and the question paper then goes on to say create links between the two pages okay so the links means when i click on home it should take me to the home page so i'm just going to select this uh going to select this right click and say make it a link and then I'm going to say go to the 2019 folder make sure you're in the 2019 folder and say when it is clicked it should go to index okay index is the name of the home page and say okay also do not forget to do the same thing for the index page as well in the index page when courses is clicked it will go to the uh, courses web page make it a link and say go to courses okay do not forget this so let's control s save it this also I'm going to save it and then next uh, the question paper says save the courses pages as courses resave the home page as index take a screenshot of your courses pages of your courses page in a web browser and then paste a screenshot in document task a3 so let me go to my folder and open the courses web page over here we have it and this is how it looks uh, let me just adjust this table once more bring everything to the center so it will look you know more perfect uh, can i do that from here let me check uh, align center what happened I said align center okay that looks better 
control s let's come and refresh this it looks better now so i'm going to take a screenshot of this plain screen and then come all the way to task a3 and below this press enter and paste the screenshot okay and then in the next question it says display the html code for the home page copy and paste the html code in document task a3 so the html code for the home page you can either find it in dreamweaver if you come to dreamweaver if you come to the home page you can click on code view you can see the entire coding method number two is you can come to the web browser and you can right click and say view page source over here you can find the entire coding okay so whichever method is easier for you you can use okay so i'm going to just copy this entire thing to select the whole thing i'm going to press ctrl a and then to copy ctrl c and then come to task a3 and uh, press enter go to the next page and press ctrl v okay so the entire coding has been copied and pasted over here then the question paper then goes on to say uh, open a new word processing so you're supposed to resave task a3 sorry i skipped that part and you're supposed to be printing it as well so you can just press ctrl p and select your printer from over here and then click on print okay so now task a3 is uh, i think done uh, yeah we're supposed to be opening a new word processing document enter your name candidate number center number in the footer and this document is supposed to be saved as task a3b so let me go into my folder right click new word document and it's supposed to be called task a3b open it and directly go into the footer uh, sorry header task a3 sorry my bad your name candidate number and center number that's it your name candidate number and center number okay that's also done and then over here it says uh, simon wants you to make the cha make these changes to the html code for the page text color should be changed to black okay so he says you need to make the following changes to the html code for the home page so all this time i haven't been teaching you all how to use the code because uh, i am not sure how many of you all will be good with the code but i am very sure most of you all will be comfortable with the design way so i'm going to show you all how to do this in the design and then how to get it from the code okay just just i mean what i just said might sound very confusing for you just observe what i'm going to do okay so they say the text color for the introductory text should be changed back to black and this is the color code for black okay so if you look come back to your home page if you come to the design view you can see currently introductory text is having that midnight blue color isn't it so they are saying now change this black to uh, back to black so what i do is i'll just come over here and i'll create a new style with black color okay so what i do is i just right click anywhere on my web page and i come to css styles and i say i want a new style and i'll say the name of this new style is called black black color or black or whatever you want you can say and then only property i'm going to change is it's going to be hashtag triple zero triple zero okay just like how the question paper told me it should be triple zero triple zero and i'm going to click on okay okay because it's only for the introductory text now so uh, let's come back to dreamweaver and click okay now that new style that new css style that i created where the font color becomes black i'm going to apply it to these two paragraphs i'm going to come to css styles and say take that black color css style and you can see now all this has become black color okay the next question tells us uh, the page title should become underlined okay the page title which is this this is the page title it should become underlined now once again you can directly go to the coding and put the u tag and make it underlined but i'm going to show you how to do it in the design view and then find that coding in the code view okay that's what i'm going to do here so you can simply select this right click come to style and say make it underlined so now that has become underlined okay now coming back to our question paper it says resave index display the html code for the home page and copy and paste the html code into task a3b so i'm going to do that right now uh, let's save it and they said copy and paste the code so control a to select all the text control c to copy come to task a3b and control v now over here in the question paper guys if you guys can listen carefully highlight the code to show where the changes were made so the two changes that we made was we inserted this color code okay so now you have to find it over here and highlight it obviously going through this might take time okay if i was you i would press ctrl f ctrl f is to find something so what am i looking for i'm looking for that triple zero triple zero isn't it 
I am looking for this triple zero triple zero okay for this code so what I'll do is I'll just come over here and say hashtag one two three one two three there you go the code is over here okay so I just simply highlight this part saying that this is the code for my black text okay and the next thing that I need to highlight is the code that was used to underline the page title so to make the page title underline I have to use this u tag okay so I simply search for this u tag okay I'll just come over to my word document and type the u tag u so where is it there you go it's over here so I'll just simply highlight this okay just select from here to here or if you want select this entire sentence and highlight it right now that yellow color that was there that was because it had found that that's why it was yellow but the moment you close the find box that yellow will go away okay so don't forget to manually highlight it select it and you can highlight it from over here okay so i hope you understood that part uh resave task a3b so i'm going to come and resave it and then the next question goes on to say uh do not print at this stage answer this question in document task a3b state and justify one improvement you would make to your website so uh, one improvement i would make to my website well maybe uh, uh if you can think of anything else you can talk about it uh if it was me i would say maybe change the background color and reduce the amount of text and include more pictures okay so let me write that over here come right to the bottom and uh, double click over here to start typing question number is what task a3c so i would say task a3c and i would say i would prefer changing the background color to a much lighter color so that the text would be more visible okay currently currently the text and background color are both dark in color okay so reading it might be difficult okay so i gave a justification of why i want to change my background color to much lighter color because currently the background color is dark and the text is also dark so reading the text might be a bit difficult okay that's why i suggest making this lighter okay so if you have any other improvement that you can think of you say if for example you, you think we should reduce the amount of text and put more pictures you can put it you can say i prefer putting more pictures because pictures are more interesting more interesting than reading text okay if you can think of anything else you can put it there is no what you call right answer and wrong answer here you're free to give any suggestion as long as you can justify it saying why it should be done okay so i really do hope that uh, this section was beneficial to you you have understood uh, i hope you are not confused but in the case of you being confused and i went too fast and you couldn't catch up or you're confused at a specific point you can drop a comment below you can email me directly get to know uh, get to know the answer okay i'll be very happy to help you out uh, so we have also come to the end of section a in our next video we'll be moving on to section number b and dealing with uh, spreadsheets microsoft excel okay so take care and uh, see you in the next video